we are back on the Fem Rap Politics playlist. And today we are talking about Megan the Stallion once again and her body evolution. But before we get there, make sure that you guys check out the video, my previous video that I did on Partisan Fontaine's diss track towards her, um, exposing her relationship with her producer, Lil Jew, and all a whole bunch of other stuff. It's on the FemRap Politics playlist right here on my channel. So all you have to do is just go add it to your YouTube library so that you're automatically updated with everything um, I do when it comes to female rap. So as you guys already know, the other night, Partisan Fontaine dropped a diss track towards Megan Thee Stallion in which he, one of the things that had me gagging the was the fact that he really told us that Megan has gotten lipo okay and so what I've done is I don't know about you guys but be actually before we get into this this is what I want to say right when it comes to body positivity um where this is not to like bully Megan or speak down on her body or any of that we are just working with facts and we are working with a whole bunch of receipts here and for me when it comes to plastic surgery if you have modified your body it then becomes a topic of conversation as it always is our society these days is hyper focused on um plastic surgery and other um cosmetic surgeries in order to alter the body so this is no shade no tea at all so, let me let me um not get too far ahead of myself so yeah make sure that you guys keep it cute in the comments as well okay so um <clears throat> here is megan's um body both before and after like not that she was famous but before and after her work so here um, one of her most recent pictures i guess from her music video cobra you can see her she's more slim we all know that um now let's go to before where her body was more of a rectangular shape and she was obviously more thicker in the third um photo here she is again in more recent times and then here she is again in um more earlier times in her career okay so i just wanted to sh show you guys you have literally before and after pictures side by side so once again um this is on the left is her megan today on the right is megan back when whenever this was taken 2020 2021 who knows so what I want to do, though, is I want to take you guys to Surgeon Made Curves, which is one of the best plastic surgery blogs that I like to follow. So um, I want to she kind of like exposed the tea on Megan a couple days ago. And of course, a lot of people were fighting back in the comments and even myself, like. I was like, oh no, like I feel like Meg was working out because we have all seen her, you know, posted up in the gym and stuff like that um, and her TikToks and stuff like that. But nah like one thing i've know i've learned when it comes to analyzing the body with plastic surgery is that you really have to look at before and after photos and focus areas and so all of the photos that you're going to see here in this slide is a, most of the same photos for the most part that i just showed you in my own slides okay so let's go see what surgeon may said so first of all she puts respect like on megan's body and stuff like that because once again this is not to drag megan or any celebrity that um she talks about so she's like i'm sorry to have to be the one to tell y'all i received confirmation that meg had lipo 360 upper and lower abdomen upper and lower back with a bbl combo yes she definitely did a little redistribution of fat on the back side as well but please keep in mind she did want to keep it natural and didn't want us to notice the changes okay this is why her hip dips are still dipping when breaking down this transformation one of the major changes i noticed is that meg has always had small noticeable bulge on the bottom abdom abdominal region so let me show you guys what that is right here right um a, a sorry right above her belly button you can see that even though like megan her stomach is really flat or whatever even on her heaviest times you can still see that there is um a bulge there right so i'm gonna um a little i thought she had something else and, and see here it is right here it's no longer there all smooth okay so okay let me find where i was another change i saw was more projection in the booty even though she lost weight with the fluctuation of weight in her volume which would have most likely decreased and not just chosen to increase that area so yeah you can see a little bit more projection there that i think that's a recent photo this is also a recent photo on the right with the red hair but i like this photo the best i like this photo the best because you can see the 
obvious sculpting in Megan's body that was not there before. And even if Megan only lost weight, she would still maintain her um, regular sort of natural rectangular shape instead of the obvious sculpting here. That cannot be achieved through the gym only, okay? Let's not forget how her silhouette side profile is giving Coke bottle when before Meg had more of a rectangular body shape. Another thing that the gym doesn't provide, as I just said, one of the most coveted aspects of having lipo is the way surgeons can build a beautiful profile by removing fat from our love handles, upper and lower back, plus adding projection around that upper buttock area. It's all a combo. What we have to keep in mind is that when losing weight, our weight um, does not just focus on one area like the waist. We lose weight in many different places. I agree that Meg did lose weight. She's in the best shape and works out, but she did receive help from a local surgeon in LA to help focus um, and redistribute the fat. So she says, even in the picture, she was a lot smaller. The shape was not giving what it is now. Okay. So she's saying, I'm letting you guys know this information was confirmed and I'm not here to be convinced. Otherwise, I'm just sharing the tea. I was able to confirm through the proper channels. Allegedly, sources say that the surgeon was Dr. Gavami in LA. Um, also, she um, allegedly, this is the, also the doctor who did her rhinoplasty, which is her nose surgery. Okay. I'm not even going to discuss that here, but it is what it is. If you've been following me long enough, then you should know that when I say it confirmed, it's because I don't come to play and I know the info. However, releasing my sources is something I can't do because then how can I continue to provide tea? Okay. So I want to show you guys um, what she posted. This She posted this after Party dropped his diss track on Megan. Okay. Exposing and like, I don't want to say that party confirmed the tea because she already has her own sources in the plastic surgery world. She has a reputation amongst doctors and a whole bunch of, I don't even know how that industry works, but like oh, everybody over there. Okay. So if she says it's confirmed, it's most likely confirmed. I've only seen this girl be wrong like once, but for the most part, she has a great reputation. So she says, this is after the diss track drop. She says, we have partisan Fontaine who in his new record speaks to my confirmed tea that Meg Thee Stallion did get liposuction. Okay and the BBL procedure done. Be for real. If you ain't realistic, got lipo, then you started posting gym pics. Oh, that's the line he said. Now, I'm not here for the diss from an ex-boyfriend. I'm here for the lyric and sentence only. Not everyone gonna say he's lying, but um, if I can confirm the one line on this record, it's that one. Okay, bye. So then she also went on, which I'm not gonna um, show you guys, but she went on in her stories on Instagram to post that, like, why would I tell um, Partisan Fontaine to say that? Like, if I really did that, I would tell him to say in the song that Surgeon Made Curves said it, you know, so that she could get her credit. So I, I just want to say that because a lot of y'all is on Twitter and in the comments fighting, ah, she was in a gym, it's this, is that. And it's like, nah, like, yo when the tea is really spilled right like and you really learn like you have to learn in order on how to like look at plastic surgery and look at bodies before and after and you, it only takes practice so that's why I personally follow that page so that I can see even if it's not a celebrity like um sorry even if it's not the talk of the town I'm looking at people like okay I'm looking at their nose I'm looking at to see like okay that's the characteristics of a rhinoplasty there so it's just like if you guys don't know how to tell like what's being done then you should like really just you know wait on it and take the information from credible sources because y'all look crazy in the comments fighting back and forth and then one day just like how y'all did for doja back in a year or whatever when she um was blasting Lori Hill and y'all need to go watch Lori Hill Lori Hill for uh you know putting her tea out there and stuff like that and then she only confirmed it girl you know so it's just like girl Megan you look good you know let's let's make that clear you look good but you know let's not um you know act like it was just all natural okay so I just really wanted to um put that out there because I don't know I enjoy plastic surgery talk these days especially when there's so many people um you know coming out and talking about it and giving really good information so make sure that you guys go look at my video on what I did on Megan the Stallion's latest single Cobra and all of the other conversation that's going on around her and her career right now but once again thank you guys for um clicking on this video and joining me here on the fem rap politics playlist i really appreciate it and um please like the video let me know um any thoughts in the comments that you guys have and um yeah subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell for the next one